hello beautiful people welcome to another video with your girl siobhan welcome back welcome back to another super sunday reset routine yes and it's going to include some house projects in here as well <laughs> so as you can see i'm getting ready to switch out the hardware in the kitchen although although excuse me i do like the acrylic handles in the kitchen they just have not been holding up very well with the kids and i wanted to switch them out also i do like these new ones that are black and gold because they just pop to me on the white cabinets so before we get started i wanted to thank y'all so much for spending a little bit of time with me on your sunday thank you so much i also wanted to thank everybody i know i haven't personally gone back and hearted all of your comments i do see them coming in but i want to thank everybody so so much for all of the birthday love i appreciate it and i love y'all to the fullest the next video will just show me celebrating my birthday a little bit but i am having a party in a week or so so you know you'll get to see all of that very soon so thank y'all so so much for all of the birthday love i really appreciate it don't forget to like comment and subscribe and let's hop into the video Now, I did get this hardware off of Amazon, and when I tell you that this hardware is so sturdy, it feels so much more sturdier than the acrylic knobs. Now, like I said, they weren't holding up all the way when it comes to the kids and everything. They're very pretty. Um, they were a little pricey, but these black and gold knobs, I just love. I love the way they pop off of the cabinets, and I love the way they feel when you open the cabinet doors and drawers. I love them. So I got them off of Amazon. They were fairly inexpensive, guys. I think for 12, they were only mm, maybe $40 for 12, if I'm not mistaken. And then I had to buy two extra ones. So I should have bought like four more extra ones and put it on the linen, not the linen, the, um, what is it called? Put it on the pantry doors. I should have done that. I might still do that. Other than that, I love these. I absolutely love them. So I'm going to switch out all of the hardware. I do wipe off all of the cabinets. I have a full little to-do list here that I'm going to be doing, going through. And I'm going to be tidying up the kitchen, sweeping, also tidying up the dining room, doing some laundry and a lot. So before the party, I do want to shampoo the carpets. I want to clean the windows there is just a few things you know like housekeeping you want to do before you have people come over so i want to make sure that i do all of that wipe off the baseboards like all of that good stuff i am going to be using a little bit of caulk in here as well you'll see me do that with the baseboards and then the next video which should have been before this one but it's okay i switched them around you'll see me hanging new curtains i got some more new decor for the top of the kitchen cabinets and so forth so like i said i'm just getting the kitchen in order I am going to be going back and forth. Now I'm doing this laundry. I had three full baskets plus a little bit more of laundry. So I did take my time. I got it all folded up. I made me some coffee. Of course, I popped on a show and I was good to go. Got this all folded and it has already been put away. I am proud of me, okay? I am proud of me because sometimes I will fold the laundry and it will sit in baskets. Who else is like that? leave me a comment leave me a basket emoji if that's you but i will fold the laundry and sometimes it will not get put up like i said the twins are learning to put their laundry up they are also being taught how to clean the bathroom so that is next on their list because they are about to be 11 this summer and they can learn how to they can clean the bathrooms they don't have to be spotless like i would clean it but they need to start somewhere so they can learn to clean the bathrooms but yeah i'm going to get this laundry folded y'all know i love laundry and love doing dishes and everything so this doesn't bother me at all whatsoever so i'm going to get this done and then i'm going to come back to you i'm buzzing let's drink up your death look like big fun come on let's get it on like that orphan gay song i'm stunning you love it come on give me something i know that you want it come on give me something the night is young and so are we 
comment and let me know if you think the Nespresso machine is really worth it. I know that you have to order the Nespresso pods or whatever they're called uh, online, but I really, one of my absolute favorite drinks is like cappuccino, guys. I like coffee, don't get me wrong. I tend to have a cup of coffee maybe three or four times per week. I never really drink the whole cup of coffee, but I do like the act of making the coffee and I'll drink like mo half of it. I'll say half of it for sure. Um, but I really want an espresso machine. I was going to buy it like two years ago and my family talked me out of it. They were like, you don't need that. And you know, just use your Keurig. And, but Nespresso and Keurig are two different things. I think I'm really going to thoroughly enjoy an espresso machine. So they have them at Target on sale right now for $129.99, I believe. They had a blue one and a red one. I don't want that. I just want an all black one. But I'm really thinking about ordering me an espresso machine. I really am. But again, leave me a comment down below. None of my family, none of the people that I actually know in real life have one. So it's not like I can go to their house and try it out and see. It's just based on what I've seen, you know, watching other YouTubers and what I like. I love 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 cappuccino i've bought cappuccino um Keurig pods but they're not the same i feel like they're not the same so i'm just curious that's something that i really want for my birthday you you are going to see me um purchase a few things for my birthday and i'm really glad i did get that you'll see that video tomorrow i'm going to post that video tomorrow for you guys because like i said it should have been before this one but i really wanted to get my sunday reset video out on sunday so that is why it's just going to be flopped around, switched around. So also, just to let you know, yesterday, the twins and I, we got up early, got their room cleaned. And when I say cleaned, excuse me, when I say cleaned, yes, we lifted up the mattresses, we moved the beds, we got behind the beds, everything was vacuumed, dusted, and all of that. They did the majority of the work, guys. I'm so proud of me. I just directed them, but they did the majority of the work. We had a heart to heart. I had a heart to heart conversation with my kids, all of my kids. Some of my kids are a little upset with me. You know, they think mommy is being mean or whatever the case may be. And I'm not. I'm just to the point where I'm I've had it basically like you're old enough where you can do what you need to do without me reminding you. I should not have to remind a 17 year old or a almost 20 year old to do their chore. I don't feel like that's necessary. I should not have to remind even London. London is 15 years old. You know, you're supposed to do the dining room, vacuum the dining room um, every other day. You know this. Chris knows. Now he is working. So sometimes when he's at work until eight, nine o'clock, I will clean up the kitchen because, you know, I'll cook and all of that. So I'll clean up the kitchen and I do like to clean as I cook. So it's not a big deal. Um, but then like reminding Ayana to do her chore and so forth. It just, it, I don't, I don't agree with that. I don't. So we had a little heart to heart and I explained to them what I need them to do. And if they don't want to do that, then they are more than welcome to go and live with their dad. <laughs> Seriously, that is exactly the conversation we had. I just summarized it, paraphrased it. So anyway, laundry is done. Everything is going to get put up. Thank goodness. And then I do have a couple more knobs and everything to do in the kitchen, as well as, like I said, I'm going to be cleaning up the dining room too.
absolutely love this dishwasher. I love it, love it. I did notice though, when the gentleman came and put the dishwasher in, now remember I had cabinets where the dishwasher was. He took the dishwasher out. I mean, I'm sorry, he took the cabinets out to add the dishwasher in. And I noticed that now the cabinets on the right hand side of the dishwasher are starting to sink. Like he, maybe he didn't re reattach it properly or whatever the case may be, but they're starting to sink. And so when you look at the kitchen, and you look at some of the cabinets, they're starting to be on an angle. So I'm trying to see if I can have, there's a um, a carpenter company that lives like at the bottom of my street. So he has like his trucks and everything out there. So I'm trying to see if he can come up and take a look at a few things around the house. We shall see. But I did notice that. So it would be nice to have all brand new cabinets, but that's not in the budget right now. So of course, we're just going to make do. But it may be a simple fix. It may not. I'm not sure. But I am starting to see that they are starting to sink or sag or whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to get the dishwasher loaded up. And I tend to load the dishwasher like twice a day if, you know, if need be. And like I said, I don't, I don't mind washing dishes. But I like to have my sink cleaned out. And what I've been doing now lately, I go after the kids. Like if I know they're eating something and they're done, I will watch them and I'll say, nope, rinse that out. Put your bowl or your plate or your cup or whatever in the dishwasher if the dishes in the dishwasher are dirty, you know. And so I've taught them that if the dishwasher is on or if I just started it, they can open it. They can still load their stuff in the dishwasher and then hit the button to start it back up again. And that way you're not just sitting your, your dishes in the sink because I just prefer that not be the case. It's about to get warm again. I don't want a bunch of dishes sitting in the sink when we have a dishwasher and they can be cleaned. So now I'm just going to, I did put the straws and stuff in the dishwasher and I am going to hand wash those because I didn't like the way that they looked coming out of the dishwasher. Also, one of my skillets had like, you know when you cook because in the video tomorrow, I did make dinner, and so I used one of my cast iron skillets. I know you're not supposed to put those in the dishwasher, but every now and then, I do. Yes, I do. It still had a little bit of food debris on there, so I'm going to just scrub that by hand and let that dry and then put that away as well. But right now, I'm going to get these straws cleaned, and then I'm going to get that pan cleaned, and then I'm going to clean the stove. I really like my <laughs> this is why I think that I have a little touch of OCD because I am really anal about certain things I am sorry but I do like for my sink to be cleaned out and I like for my stove to be cleaned so like I said I made dinner the night before I had took Kinsley to dance practice came back finished dinner and I didn't clean off the stove that night but of course I knew the next day I was going to be finished finishing up so of course I cleaned it off 
I'm one of those people that sometimes I'll clean the stove prior to even cooking. And then of course it needs to be cleaned again. But I like certain things to be done. I believe it or not, I enjoy having a clean house. Now, I know I have kids in here. I know, you know, this house, we are in this house. We live in this house. You know, we're in every aspect of this house and everything is not going to stay clean all the time. I'm okay with that. But I do for the most part, like for things to be clean. Or I like to say to the kids, if somebody came over today, do you think our house is, is good enough for them to come in? Like, would you be embarrassed if your friends or somebody came over today? And that's the way I kind of gauge things. Okay, I wouldn't, you know, I don't like this. Or if I walked into somebody's house, would their house be like this? Probably not. So let's get this together. That's what I'm, you know, throwing in the back of my kids' minds. So I did have all the kids Saturday morning, guys. I had all the kids get up and start cleaning up prior to us doing anything. They all had stuff that they had to get done before we did anything we got dressed because we were actually going somewhere so we were going to my nephew's birthday party so yes woke them up let's get it done and like i said they were not happy with me at all but that's okay because it still needed to get done and they have to remember that i'm the parent i'm not your friend you know i don't mind you know i can i can be your friend but i'm always your parent first put it that way so yeah they were not happy with me at all whatsoever but Again, I don't care. I used to care. I don't care anymore. The twins room is clean. The hallway is clean. The living room, that was Gianni's. She was taking care of that. The kitchen and dining room was clean. Laundry got done. Like I was feeling pretty good going to this party. I didn't have to kind of stress and worry about what needed to be done and what wasn't done and so forth. So that makes me feel good. Do you clean your house prior to leaving it? Like if you have somewhere to go? Or do you get up on Saturdays and clean up, like have all your kids clean up? I'm just curious. Does your kids have chores? Any of that? me shoot a whole clip firepower in this coalition we just turned the field into a demolition it was desolate but i had premonition i was training for war every exhibition every extra mission every enemy listening get off my dick. i got bad intentions make it right every wrong and i'm back with a vengeance i show you the ropes peace in my town i can show you the coast up in the shots if they wanted to smoke if you know then you know suit it up my whole team do the same don't you forget who created the game ready for war i was born with grenades the trenches were so Let's see how you do under pressure. Yeah. Let's see how you do under pressure. Let's go. Give them a name to remember. Okay, okay. Hey, let's see how you do under pressure. Yeah. Let's see how you do under pressure. A moment can live on forever. Okay. Let's see how you do under pressure. These eight cube organizers I got from IKEA. I bought the gold legs from off of Amazon and put those on these bins i also got these from ikea now ikea used to have these black acrylic bins that you could purchase they no longer have them because i would have preferred to have the black acrylic where you could just wipe them off these bins tend to get a little bit of um lint and dust or or hair because i have animals too so you'll see hair so i just go over them with either sometimes i'll use a lint roller or a a damp microfiber cloth just to get them cleaned off and again I have for the most part everything is labeled so we'll have some snacks in there we'll have the coffee is labeled the tea um, I have a bread drawer I have extra juice and stuff in there as well what else um, uh, miscellaneous like extra paperwork for different uh, kitchen gadgets that I have and so forth so th everything is labeled I bought some new labels off of Amazon and labeled them I'm also going to be organizing my drawers and stuff upstairs in my room because I did you got to do that like every other month maybe every three months because you know life lives and it is what it is and things can tend to get a little disorganized so here I am going to sweep the kitchen really good and then get it all back in order and yeah and we're basically done with the kitchen. My girl, we confidence. My girl, we roll our hips and take 
sip on it. Take a trip on it. When I got you, can't go slow. Wind it up on night. Baby, take your time. I am loving the way the decor looks on top of the cabinets as well as this clock. Got the clock from home, no, from Gabe's and the decor from Gabe's. Again, you'll see that in the next video. But I had to patch a small hole that was up there and that is why I went back and painted it. Now I am going to caulk this area over here to get the seam. I could not get the baseboard flush with the wall and I think like over time maybe it warped or whatever the case may be I just could not get it flush so again I am just using a little bit of caulk to get it nice and seamless and then I'm going to go back and just do any type of touch-ups or anything that I need to do but the caulk everything it just I don't know when you put caulk on stuff like this it makes it look 10 times better and you'll see that momentarily but it really does make it 10 times better and the caulk and stuff is fairly inexpensive guys it's only a couple dollars at home depot lowe's or whatever so if you need to do this definitely do it i am so glad that i did it looks so much better to me in my own lane you could still ride with me you won't end, but it's too late. I don't need your support just to know I'm important. I will never sell myself short, cause I know you'll see me on the come up. Big girl with big dreams and big drip. Talk is cheap, but please dare me to run up. So I am going back and forth from kitchen to dining room because sometimes I will do that instead of staying in one room and, and tidying it up. I was doing all kind of things this day. So I am loading this little mini fridge that we have. I tend to keep a lot of our waters and juices and stuff in here. It just makes it easier for everybody and it doesn't take up all that space in the refrigerator. So when I say that my kids go through drinks like it is nobody's business, they drink up everything. And I do, what I'm going to start doing is buying the little bottles of water because like I'm sure every household that has kids, there are so many half drank water bottles all over the place. It's like, oh, was this mine? Oh, I forgot. I don't know if that's mine. I don't think that's mine. Let me get another one. And usually what I will do because no one wants to drink a half drank water bottle like I would never so I'll use that to pour into the cat's water dish <laughs> it's like a filtered water dish or whatever and yeah so I'm going to start buying the little bottles of water to make it easier so hopefully they won't waste as much if that makes sense <laughs>
I'm talking way too loud And if you don't like the sound You could just tune it out Who you rootin' for? They say whatever team that'll win I say cool, cause it's gonna be whichever one I'm in Yeah, I'm good like that Sorry for the angle, beautiful people I did clean all three of the mirrors I should have adjusted the camera, which sometimes you just forget because you're in the moment of cleaning. But I did clean all three of the mirrors. The two mirrors, the last two that I'm doing, they were fine. But this third mirror over here by the, the beverage fridge, it gets super duper foggy all the time. So I think it's just the mirror issue. There's nothing I can really do about that. I'm going to keep cleaning it, but I feel like it just get streaky all the time no matter what i do so i'm going to finish with this buffet getting this together dusting it because you know when you have glass and mirrors and things like that you tend to get a lot of dust if you ask me so i'm going to get that i did switch up the decor a little bit like switch it around every now and then i like to do that so that you know it i don't get bored with it and i am yeah I am getting a little bored and I was thinking like, what can I bring up from the basement, change it out, blah, blah, blah. But neither here nor there, I wasn't doing that on this date. <laughs> I was just trying to get the house clean and tidy. So I am going to finish cleaning up. I did, like I said, I had to order two more handles off of Amazon. And that is what you're going to see me putting back on or putting on here in the kitchen. And like I said, I'm almost done with the kitchen. I think that was the last thing that I had to do before I showed y'all the the full thing the full view of the kitchen but yeah and if you're wondering why I have the hood on I was actually cold on this day a little a little chilly but I did take it off because I went back into the dining room and finished cleaning you know the more you move around and everything you warm up so I was a little chilly but I did take it off <laughs> Real bad, same ones trying to meet me where I'm at now. Same ones trying to figure how I got here. I've been serving my pot, bitch, shipping my sauce, been writing these sauces. 48 key drops, tell me when to go, how you think I'm finna stop? I be protecting my inner child. You could keep all of that distance. They be hating on me cause they see I'm gifted. It's off in the soil, your shit 3D printed. I be doing me like I got a blink check. I be decking shade for the love and respect. Wanna touch stage, cross seas on me, no drama, more flights. Next year's looking lit. I'm laid up in somebody grass, I'm burning the gas to my last breath. Life is so fragile, enjoying the roses so high you can't see me, I'm seated She wanna beat me, I'm trying to do Fiji, I live on the island alone I'm trying to be one with my aura before I allow your soul So beautiful people, I'm giving you a close up of the handles. <laughs> and as you can see, like around the handles, like right there and right there, there's some little spots that need like paint touch up. So that's what I'm going to do. And then I'm gonna let everything dry and I'm gonna wipe off the cabinets and stuff really, really good tomorrow. Tell me what can I do now Ain't it always funny how Soon as I let my guard down Here comes that familiar sound When you start to get tongue-tied And in my heart I feel you lie Though I know the whole damn time Why do I act so surprised? So beautiful people the kitchen is nice and clean again i love it i love it i love it so much i love the decor on top of the cabinets i don't know why i didn't do this a long time ago very inexpensive guys i love the curtains that i put up i really do i was so tired of seeing that plastic on the windows but i love the curtains so much i love the new hardware the black and gold just pops to me it looks super nice and I love it. It goes with everything. It goes with my stools that I have. It goes with the faucet. It goes with the, the, what is it? The light fixture. And then like, it just goes with everything to me. Okay. 
so I love it and I'm very very glad that I got it and again it was very they were very inexpensive and they just feel so nice in your hands they're so sturdy so yeah the kitchen is nice and clean the dining room I'm just going to finish tidying up in here I'm going to mop not mop I'm going to vacuum I will be mopping after I shampoo the carpets but I'm just going to vacuum really quickly and then I am going to wipe off the table and the get the rest of the dining room together oh I am going to clean off my uh, what is it called my wine rack or yeah whatever that thing is that holds the wine over there I'm going to get that together I have 20 I think I have 20 or 21 bottles of wine and I was like you know what I need to start giving these out as gifts I need to guys I need to so that's what I'm going to be doing my sister actually recommended that and I was like that's a great idea I am going to have a couple bottles on chill basically for the party and then I'm going to have a signature drink that anybody can get I'm, I'm excited about that can't wait to show y'all some of the decor or the decorations I should say that I have bought and yeah oh my dress should be coming in now I did purchase a dress already for my birthday but I bought another one because I'm trying to see which one I'm going to like better on and then if I don't whichever one I don't use I'll just send back so but yeah so I gotta check I think my dress comes in today I'm so excited the second one is just more glam more fancy I just oh I'm excited so anyway I'm going to get this all vacuumed up and tidied up and yeah we're almost done almost done Friends keep your secrets So unfortunately my bar cart I have mirror on the second shelf and it did crack I don't want to say shatter but it, it cracked basically because I think the weight of the the wine basically so I do want to get a new bar cart eventually I'm not I don't know I'm not pressed to get one but I do want to get a new bar cart or a new wine area I don't know situation whatever you want to call it you're going to see here <laughs> it was it was time for me to dust this thing off I mean it been time for me to dust this off and also because I have the vent right here so the vent you know when it blows the hot air out it's dusty and everything so that it is what it is so but yeah I'm going to get this nice and clean and that's when I was like let me count this wine and I was counting it like oh I have this is how many I have and you'll see I'm about to start talking to my sister. My ear pods were upstairs, so I was not coming upstairs to get them. So you're going to see me holding the phone talking to her. And yeah, it's just, it was funny. I'm like, I have all this wine. And she was like, yeah, just give them all his gifts. I'm like, oh, perfect, perfect idea, perfect. So that is what I'm going to do as well as, you know, drink a few. Well, you know, I don't really drink like that, but taste a few of them. <laughs> <laughs> taste a few so yeah anyway let's finish getting this wiped off and cleaned you're going to see where it's shattered and how dusty it is but it's nice and clean now <laughs>
could the God convinced me Had to use my own two eyes to see Cause I always make you think you going crazy Something in the way they lie, manipulation No more patience Cause there's a million, million, million things that I'd rather do Than to be patient for truth Am I in the twilight zone? Or am I... I was trying to think of the best way to organize it. And also I was looking at everything. I'm like, which ones can I have for the party? You know, I have no clue what to pick or what not to pick or whatever. I really don't. I am, like I said, I'm going to have like two red and two white on, you know, for the party. I don't know what is best and what isn't. And then also I'm going to have my signature drink and then like some more little alcohol if people want it. And of course, food and drink. So, or I should say food and dessert. But other than that, that's about it. I think the bar cart is still super simple and cute. I really like it. I just, I like anything that I can kind of decorate. I'm going to clean off this table really quickly. And like I said, we're almost done. I left the living room alone because Gianni is in there. So I wasn't going to worry about it. And then, like I said, the hallway was pretty much cleaned. Everybody took their shoes upstairs and all of that. I will do another video coming up where you see me kind of like clean up the hallway, wipe down the doors, all that good stuff. But the hallway was London's chore. So she was taking care of that. And the bathroom was Chris's chore and then Ayana was doing laundry and um litter or something like that so like I said everybody was doing something the twins were actually helping out with the hallway too so everybody was doing something so I'm going to get everything dusted on these shelves and then yeah and then we're gonna relax for a moment and then go to the party For the promises made and fall for the way that you break them. Five shots won't take no more. Five shots won't take no more. Won't take no more. So the dining room is nice and clean. Everything is dusted. I do plan on cleaning my chandelier light as well. And yeah, everything is clean and tidy and fresh. It smells so good, which is one of my things. Y'all know that's one of my things and I feel really good. So now let's get dressed and let's head to the party. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. I love you. Happy birthday to you. Look at that smile, like, you know it's your special day. You hot? Probably. No, the, the sweatshirt maybe. No, he got some underneath here, like some moon pants. Say hi. Bud, you can go in, girl. Go ahead, keep going. Keep going. Huh? Uh-uh, it should go. Oh, you're oh, for here. Yeah. Oh. Uh -uh. I don't know. It was Kendall. Yeah, it was. It was. It was. I forgot too. Go, girls. It's not working. Tell the girl. Tell the girl. Tell the girl. To keep saying there's a problem. Tell the girl. So the kids, you're, you're not doing rock climbing? We are. We're just waiting for some 